Okay, I think I've got everything in purse, like in the uh, the view. 100% for sure. This is the Austro-Hungarian Mark I version. There's no way I'm going to um, probably stick with this. I've already seen some discrepancies, but I want to. And the next thing I have to do for the Austro-Hungarians is basically oh, remember I've got a second front I've got to deal with. So I've got to worry about what's going on there. Um, I also have to start cluing into how much I can start producing, and it takes a long time. I think it's something like put the production uh, chart somewhere. Hold on. It takes six months to uh, produce two infantry. Uh, sorry. Six months to produce an infantry unit. Um, ay, 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 ay. You get the idea. So it's this isn't funny. Um, I don't know if you hopefully can see the strength point numbers here. It's woeful. Five, four, five, four. It's just brutal. But when you get towards here and you start seeing 20, 14, 13. That's where I'm concentrating. It's so strange to know that I don't know what the Russians are up to. I'm assuming the Russians are going to be doing, um, trying to go for Lemberg. They're not. They're actually trying to go for this area here. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I've already mentioned this repeatedly. I don't know. I've done a ton of videos you haven't seen. Uh, just because I'm trying to articulate things or I, whatever. But anyways, we're going to try to be going for this rail junction. I know it's ages away, but that's where, um, well, in the alternate Russian universe, if you want to look at it that way, I think there's the 8th Army here, and um, was it the 3rd? I think there's, yeah, they're going that way. They're, so they're, those two armies are trying to basically, uh, well, the 3rd is the support, but going towards that uh, way, as far as I remember, to take a look. Okay. So all I've done essentially is uh, shift the armies over a little bit. I wanted to keep the um, the army commanders and troops and everybody uh, used to that uh, to their areas as much as possible. Uh, so the first and fourth were mostly towards here. The third was you know all around Lemberg and so on and so forth, and the fourth, um, uh, sorry, the holy shit, I screwed up here. Yes, I did. Wow, I'm ever glad I did this. That's not the second. That's the fourth. That's the second. There's the third. Yep, that makes way more sense. Holy f! I'm gonna have to go and take a look at my um, my OOB book. I've had some ton of discrepancies. I was already, you know, that's why I said I'm calling it a Mark One. I've put down the engineering units, I've put down the artillery, I'm showing you the strength points and also the embedded um, German um, infantry brigades. Like I said again, early days. We've got tons of railheads to um, to fix and uh, like broken rail and start going. I'm just trying to figure out which ones to do the best. I'm not a big fan of having engineering regiments if you can see that that's my symbol for an engineering regiment so I've got one here one there one there uh, one, I got five in total there's another one there and well, it doesn't really matter but um, I'm, I tend to try to keep them away from the front some I did I have no choice it's just the way it goes you know what's nice is I didn't realize I can start uh, repairing rail right away because it's in Austria-Hungary. It's not Russian rail. That being because it's winter time. That being said, winter time is going to have a dramatic. I didn't know this. I'm glad he's doing some of the that bit. I would still like to get a bit more into weather proper because they're four, three or three to four day turns essentially. And I, as far as I'm concerned, weather does then therefore play a role a bit more so than. Um, and we've got 20 kilometer uh, wide hexes here. It's a bit more than just uh, dealing with 
Mind you, the winter uh, uh, doesn't end until the end of uh, April turn 7. It reduces primarily my line of uh, supply. I think I go down to 3 uh, for an attack and down to 6 for a counterattack, that type of stuff. So it's not fun. But so that being said, strategically looking later on, I'm looking at the Russians now, I'm like, probably your best time is to start attacking during the winter. Uh, in this area, because the uh, the uh, of course, but the Germans um, with the uh, the Tarnif understanding over here got some uh, exclusive use to the rail, so that kind of um, chops that off a little bit. Mm, we'll see. There's a lot of rivers and whatnot. We'll see. We'll see what they can do. But we're talking about the Austro-Hungarians supposedly. So I'm just for now. I we'll see what happens. Uh, it's. Yet again, early days, Mark 1, if you want to call it that. Looking where to put the German, uh, embed the German troops in certain spots. We're woeful. For, I mean, it's just god-awful. I can't believe how uh, little amount of strength points there are. And I'm like looking at the um, Gerlitzer Tarnov uh, breakthrough, which is in May 1915, so only a few months away. And I'm like, how in F do, do they have so many strength points available to them so there's something i'll have to take a look there's something funky going on here um i as far as i know i'm doing it right based on what i saw for the reinforcement schedule discrepancies between tannenberg uh galicia and the grand campaign maybe there's a third discrepancy for the galicia uh, Tarnif breakthrough because it this doesn't make sense. How in the living hell could um, Austria Hungary be a major participant in the Galitza Tarnif breakthrough um, in May? You know, it's only a few months away for goodness sakes, and have so many more strength points available to them. So I'll, I'll have to take a look at that later. There, that's something, like I guess, uh, this is. Uh, but at least I'm seeing where I'm trying to take shape. Another thing I'm trying to do, uh, r reminding myself, is to scale back uh, my objectives massively. And uh, even yet again, when I think I've scaled them back, scale them back again. So I thought I scaled them back by going, okay, I'll do a joint, off joint offensive and try to take Stanislaw and uh, Cernovitz. Actually, we're just going to stick with uh, Stanislaw and go from there and see what happens. I've got, um, what do you would call it, contingency. A lot of troops, most of my troops are here. All my, almost all my supply points are here. 140. I've got 110 sitting here. Only 15 apart on here. We'll see. I haven't, like I said, I haven't even identified who's uh, going to be in which cores and so on and so forth. A, t a long way to go. Long, 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 long way to go. But this is, and this is just the, I don't know, whatever operational uh, scale you want to call it at that. And it's like, wait a minute, isn't there a Christmas truce? But these people can't deal with, they, they got, they got, they got to focus just on this, like I've said before. Or maybe I have, well, I have, but I just don't know if you've, you know, I didn't record it. Uh, that's it, I think. Like, you know, I popped in the cavalry as well. They don't have a lot. Um, I didn't know, I really know what to do with them, to be honest with you. We've got some dangerous spots. Like I said, there's warning signs left, right, and center. I'll have to reevaluate everything um, and go from there. Uh, there's a, another part of me, though, that really wants to try to incorporate a time limit, almost like an hourglass of like, okay, you've had enough time screwing around, playing around with the planning for the Austro-Hungarians, you have to get on with things, that's it. It's also part of it as well later on when I start trying to figure out how to um, uh, declare offensives and uh, be committed to declaring offensives. I'm not getting into willy-nilly land, that's for sure. Like I said before, I'm staying also with the divisional breakdown. It's going to be essential, especially when I have to start breaking down divisions into uh, brigade so I can extend my line, thin it out a bit, but uh, strength point wise, or dilute my force potential, but tough bananas. Uh, but I'm not into reconstitution of, um, it doesn't make sense to me as far as I'm concerned. Like one minute, it's like, oh, uh, I'm not going to get into what, why I say 
or whatever. So I'm just not going to get into that. You can bring in replacement units to up, uh, up divisional whatevers, but I'm not going to get into, by the way, I can break up this division and start uh, converting them into replacement units and throwing them around here, there, or everywhere. No, you're part of that th third army or whatever. You're, you're staying that way. If you want to if I want to um, reassign a brigade or division to another, fine. That's one thing. But I'm not going to get into um, this other bit. <sighs> There's uh, and I'm still um, getting getting a little bit better there with the focus points and trying to figure out some kind of um, pseudo universal currency. I'm especially with the reconnaissance, which is going to be monster. Um, what I'm trying to starting to think is like uh, converting. Um, uh, if you want to have a focus point towards, let's say, uh, reconnaissance, it's going to cost so many supply points, and you can use it from there on in, and you know, and go from there. And like I said, you know, I will stop. I'll stop there. Yeah. Um, anything else I can say about this stuff for now? Hmm. No, like I said, I've already seen that I made a disc. I'll have to go and take a look at my um, my OOB uh, book and uh, see what's going on there. Um, uh, I maybe probably mention it. I guess it's perhaps time sensitive. I will not be doing a uh, hosting the live stream on Saturday uh, tomorrow there, August tenth. There's just too many. I'm just drained. And you're thinking, well, what do you mean drained? You're doing all this stuff. Yeah, this is fun stuff. Um, work has just been a... I need to go and play uh, mind-wise. And um, no matter what you say, uh, preparing for the live stream is a... Um, well, it's so much stressful. As I've got a lot of work to do for it. And I just want to do continue doing a better job that way. And... Um, I'm not going to be able to do that tomorrow due to the fact that work this week, but I'm going to nip that in the bud early this week or next week because it's like enough's enough. I, I'm not going to let it interfere too much with um, what's going on, which is far more um, important in the long run. It's uh, the way it goes. It's just been, it's been intense. It's just been really uh, mentally taxing. Like, uh, even like I went to go lie down after today's work. Um, I was still thinking about it. I was like, jeepers, jumping, this is nuts. So I was like, okay, I need to completely just get away from any form of and just soak into fun, fun land, uh, essentially. But, you know, I do think about it and I don't want to, uh, like I said before, um, um, let the the Saturday live streams uh, down and you guys down and so on and so forth but I also want to do a half decent job so what I've been up to anyways to prepare for it which I thought I was perhaps gonna do um, which would be live stream 85 um, um, I'm just gonna use that material for next week and go from there and uh, we'll see how it goes anyways that's it I hope you guys have a good time I'm gonna go off and um, just spend the weekend, um, I guess, soaking up um, creative uh, energy and whatnot, and just go from there. But also planning. I got it. Like I said before, I got to start getting into a timetable because work ain't gonna go away. Okay. See you in a bit.